Hello, hello, what's up? Hello, everyone. Alright, so now we're going to be reacting to a different song altogether. And the name of this song is going to be... I'm going to have to get my falling apart glasses here. Alright. Alright, we're going to be reacting to a song called Je T'aime Monoplus. All right, so we're gonna be listening. We're gonna be reacting to it. I'm just gonna read it. I'm just gonna read it to you guys now. So "Je T'aime en plus" is one of the is one of the most famous and controversial um, songs in French pop music uh, in the history of French pop music. It was performed by Serge Gainsbourg, Gainsbourg, and Jean. Birkin, Jane Birkin. All right, so it, the, Serge Gainsbourg and, and, and Jane Bir, Birkin were the ones singing it. Uh, the original, the original song. The the title is Je T'aime Non a Plus. Uh, it was released in 1969. Uh, the genre is pop, um, chanson. And the language is French, right? So, all right. So the the song. All right. Let's creation and inspiration. Let's talk about that. So uh, the song uh, has the song was written by Serge Gainsbourg initially, and it was recorded with Brigitte. Uh, it, it was recorded uh, with Brigitte Bardot in 1967. Brigitte, Brigitte Bordeaux. Uh, but that version was not released until later Gainsbourg's re-recorded... Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so... It was recorded with uh, Brigitte Bardot in 1967. But that version was not released until later. Gainsbourg re-recorded this song in 1968 with his then-girlfriend... Jean, Jane Birkin, which became the most well-known version, actually. All right, so let's talk about the lyrics and theme of this, and themes of this song. Je t'aime, Monoplus is famous for its explicit lyrics and sensual tone. The, the song is essentially a dialogue between lovers featuring breathy vocals and suggestive lyrics that hint at physical intimacy. You know, I didn't know that. Well, physical intimacy. All right, physical intimacy. So again, I'm going to read that back again. So the the uh, so this song. Uh, <clears throat> So this song is essentially a dialogue between lovers featuring breathy vocals and suggestive of suggestive of lyrics that hint at physical intimacy. The title itself which translates to I love you me neither me neither that's weird I love you I love you too. Well, anyways, but I love you. Me neither. Wow, that's 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 wild. Um, so it translates to "I love you, me neither" is a paradoxical statement reflecting the complex nature of romantic relationships. All right, let's talk about its popularity and controversy. Um, so. Chart performance. The song was a commercial success, topping the charts in several countries, including the UK, where it reached number one. Uh, but it had controversies. Uh, the controversy was that it has explicit content, causing significant controversy upon its release. It was banned by several radio stations and even condemned by the Vatican. 
which only increased its popularity. Cultural and impact. Let's look at that. Bellman Media. The song has been featured in numerous films, advertisements, and TV shows, often used often used to evoke themes of romance and sexuality. My God, I didn't know that. The Legacy. Je t'aime mon plus has influenced many artists and remains an iconic track in pop culture. It is often cited as one of the most significant songs of the 1960s. Notable cover versions. Various artists have covered this song, but none has achieved the same level of fame or impact as the Gainsbourg Birkin version. Notable covers included Donna Summers, Donna Summer, and Cat Power. So again, notable version. Notable ver notable covers include versions by Donna Summer and Cat Power. So summary the summary is that Je t'aime on a plus by Suez Gainberg and Jane, Jane Birkin is a landmark in French pop music known for its provocative content and sexual style despite or perhaps because of the controversy it generated. The song has endured as a classic celebrated for its daring approach to t themes of love and desire. I'm going to read that again. Despite of despite or perhaps because of of the controversy it generated, this song has endured as a classic celebrated for its daring approach to themes of love and desire. All right, with no Further ado, let's react to it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here it is. Je t'aime mon plus. Et je me 
That was that was very very different than what I was. I mean, I heard that song before. I'm not gonna lie, but I never really heard it like that, you know, through headphones and really paying attention to the lyrics, knowing what because it's sung in French. You know, I speak French, but n not all that well. Uh, I can pick. I if I studied it, I of course I would. But amazing. So what, how did you guys feel about it? What did you guys think about this song? Please let me know. I was a little impressed with her voice because I'm, I'm listening through headphones. So it was like she was right here. You know, <laughs> it's so weird. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this reaction video. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>